Would you like to live in the Brady Bunch house? No. Oh, it's for sale. I've been to it. Yeah, it's not far, not not far away. I don't even remember where it is, but yeah. somewhere in the valley. No, right? it's in Studio City. Oh, it's in. Studio it's City. not not far away. It's on. The, it's on. It's being listed for about five mil. So you could. Not worth five mil. <laughs> no, it's it's not worth five mil. It's just because it's the Brady Bunch house, and I don't know that. Actually, I'd... somebody they didn't the property brothers like renovate it and like they did a show out of it. Maybe they did. I think, it still looks exactly the same on I the think outside. They did the outside, but I think they did a show about it on HGTV about renovating the 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 house, hmm. uh, the Brady Bunch house. You can't do that with the Partridge Family house because it's gone. There was no house. It was on the Burbank lot. How would you know? Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rexes with Corbin. I'm Ricky Siegel. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. Um, it may be. The actual house may still be on the back lot somewhere mm-hmm. on that street. They may still use it, but I don't think so. I think it was. I think they changed that whole street for Desperate Housewives. Anyway. Uh, today, uh, getting to a trailer that we didn't get to. That <laughs> yeah. I, I now want to get to. Oopsie. Uh, this is Vicky and Sarah Ali Khan's uh, Sarah. So, so, uh, Zera Hatke Zera Bakke, which is one of the directors of Mimi. Uh, I don't know who primarily directed that, um, but we, we loved Mimi um, and we love Vicky. Uh, I like Sarah as a person. I, I just yeah, we, we just don't know enough about. Don't know, haven't seen her, enough of her work. Yeah, either. exactly. Um, so hopefully this is like a, a fun little commercial uh, film, uh, and let's just get into it. Love those sounds. Nirvata Dinesh Vision or Nidhishwak Lakshman Uttekar ki ho se pesh hai. Kahani indoor mein basi ek madhyam bargi shadi suda jodi ki kapil aur saumya. Tereko pata hai kaisa feel ho raha hai? Kaisa? Tereko main hotel chhodne aata tha. Jab bhi tu gate ke andar jaati thi na, dil mein na aisa tak 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 feel hota tha. Aaj bhi aisa. Those teeth. Jura pannaal, dhe sara pyaar. Mano Rishikesh Mukherjee ki koi film chal rahi ho. Is that Pankaj narrating? No. गोपी के साथ मिलन के पुलाव पका लिया है गोपी तो छोरे का दाब होता है अरे वही तो टेंशन है आजकल के लोडे भी तो दिशाहीन हो गए हैं हो सके तो इनको मेडिकली अनफिट कर दो। तुम यार पहली बार मेरी मारने पे कितने लोग? इससे डिवोर्स जल्दी हो जाए। लेकिन पिता बात क्या है? सात्रे ने बोला उसकी क्या आदत हो? मसला क्या है यार? तो जून से देखिए कपिल सोमया और पूरे परिवार की कट्टी मुट्टी सरारत से भरी ये फिल्म जरा हट के जरा बच के। One slap and all of your chakras will align. <laughs> so it, it is giving me Mimi vibes in terms of they're taking a subject matter, mm. Mimi. Uh, which was uh, abortion, uh, I believe, in Mimi, right? Or mm. um, and then stupid white people coming in and yeah, just retaking their child. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, love that movie, though. Uh, in terms of they're taking a subject matter, almost the Ayushman style of films, right? Um, it, it's produ- it feels it looks, very silly. Looks very silly. Um, and, and I think there, there were silly moments, obviously, I, in Mimi. I think part of the premise is they discovered they could make more money divorced than married. Is that what so, it was? Yeah, I think so. So they're pretending to divorce. That was that scene when she said, I'm going to slap you and call the cops because they were actually kissing and somebody caught them. 
Uh, so I think they're getting divorced, even though they're still in love with each other, yeah. for, for monetary reasons. What would be the monetary reasons for that? I don't know. Maybe there's... To have something in a, a will or something. I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, obviously, this is... But this, it looks like it's going to be if, stupid silly. Um, I think it's going to have a lot of the same... Because Mimi had some of that. Um, but it, it, I think it's going to have a lot of the... They're, they're gearing towards the families. In this one, yes. in the same way that Mimi was, it's not going to be. It's going to have a message, but it's not going to be extremely hard hitting. No, I, not no. I think it'll lean more deli belly than it will Mimi in terms of its feel as of silly, deli stupid, belly. funny. Oh, yeah, I don't silly, stupid, funny. I think it just showed some of that in the trailer. I think it'll lean more towards Mimi. Oh, okay. And, and you should because of the creators. Yes. Okay. Uh, I they definitely like the teeth, which was weird. <laughs> like they, they put the, was the big teeth there in the beginning. Um, so I don't know what that's about. And I do um, think this has the, like most films here, it it will either be really, really good or really, really bad. I don't think there's going to be a middle ground. Yeah, it's it's super interesting because obviously this is not Vicky's normal forte. Not that we uh, know. But he's a great actor, so I have no doubt that he can pull off anything because he's he is a great actor. Yeah. Um, it's just super interesting because this is a very... I mean, we saw it last year in a film that everybody seems to hate that we loved in, in Ren Veer's film. Yeah. We loved that film. Uh, it was very silly. Silly but fun, had uh, heart. Uh, uh, so that genre works, obviously, if you do it correctly. And mm -hmm. this director has shown that she can do that correctly. Yeah. Uh, or he. Is it a, a guy or a girl? I can't tell sometimes. With uh... I don't I don't know. Because that's... Um, and oftentimes they, they show the name and then there's no photo. It, but it's obviously taking this taboo subject of divorce in India. Yeah. Uh, which I've been sent stuff. It's like, the divorce rate in India is like 1%. I'm like... You know that's not for the actual like reasons that like <laughs> yeah. it's because it's an extremely taboo thing that you just don't do and also women can't do in certain parts of India mm -hmm. because they are also ostracized right. uh, in certain parts. I'm not saying all over India, but no. in certain parts they are, right. uh, and it's also in the family just taboo, even if it's an abusive Correct. relationship. Correct. Um, so the, when people send me that, sad, I'm like, no, that's and not there the are actual. people who didn't legally divorce, but they're not married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and as opposed to America, which we have a higher divorce rate, but it's also, it's not a taboo thing here. No, if at all. If it's not working, you get divorced. Yeah. Um, uh, or <laughs> there's obviously many reasons to get divorced. Of course. <laughs> of course. Um, but it's not taboo. Being divorced is not in well, any way taboo here. Definitely not in comparison to India. Correct. Um, Correct. In the South, you will have more conservative people that I've been, like, it doesn't matter like they can they all they always think that you should work it out even if it's an abusive relationship mm -hmm. even if it's like because in their minds in christianity especially in devout catholicism yeah. devout catholicism yeah. doesn't permit remarriage after divorce yeah so there are some stuff in, in in america as well that that will have it but uh so it's i i like the fact that it's almost a genre of taking a taboo thing mm -hmm. making it widely accessible to mm -hmm. families agreed uh and making it kind of fun which is obviously the vibe they're going for the very much Ranvier film last year or, or the memes of the world yeah um so i <laughs> I'm rooting for it. I've obviously, yeah, I love course. Vicky. Uh, I love going into the theater for these style of films and just having fun. Yeah. And um, having almost a, even though there might be something that'll happen that's like poignant. Yeah. It's not going to be something like, you're not going to get a Schindler's List. No, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's not what <laughs> it's you're going to be. It's going to be a hard yeah. watch. It's going to be more of a, they're going to focus more on the fun And I'm rooting watches. for her as I do for me. And I don't never want any actor to fail, but I have a, I have a particular, I, there's, you know, if you've been around here long enough, you know we don't have any problem with nepotism because the industry is built on relationships regardless of who you're related to genetically. Yeah. It's all about relationships. And oftentimes when you're the child of someone who's a well-known person, it comes with added baggage that no one else understands, doesn't know how to what they're dealing with in terms of that. So I'm rooting for Sarah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about it. Are you excited for this film? Let us know down below.